mercy on us, Lord. Jesus, our Savior, earth and grace in William, Lord, you. Oh, great Redeemer, King of all creation, as we are sinners, we deserve your judgment. Jesus, be Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Christ Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life for us. Christ Lord Jesus, you come to gather all nations into the peace of your kingdom. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared the fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. said among themselves, thinking not aright. Let us be set the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God, and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us he is the censure of our thoughts, merely to see him is a hardship for us, because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways. He judges us debased, he holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just, and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. 
neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He watches over all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants, no one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. According to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea, because Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish feast of tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me, and also know where I am from. Yet... I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ, we uh, wake up these days, uh, perhaps if you are like me, uh, uh, like uh, we uh, wake up into another dream. And I wish that it were just a dream. I wish that it were we just living in a Hollywood movie. But it is not. This is our reality. The pandemic is here with us. And so in my uh, morning reflection today, um, for some reason, uh, the image of the crocodile hunter pops up in my head. You know, that's funny uh, crocodile hunter who would uh, come about and then, you know, speaking with a very uh, uh, cute uh, Australian accent, you know, danger, danger, you know, danger, danger, wherever he goes, he, 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 he speaks the words so that uh, his team may watch out, and uh, he speaks to himself too, that he should watch out, you know, uh, in order to come around, you know, and, and capture the crocodiles. And, <clears throat> and uh, I, I, I thought that uh, that should be, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the bell ringing in our head when we go out into public these days, right? And then the whole idea of social distancing, the whole idea of protecting yourself, 
you know, stay at home, uh, shelter in place, lock down, shut down. All of these measures um, are taken uh, sometimes uh, um, seriously at times uh, so uh, uh, lightly with some young people who are still like celebrating uh, uh, spring break uh, on the beach. Uh, we, we do not uh, and cannot uh, measure uh, the severity of this, this whole uh, pandemic uh, until perhaps one of our loved ones uh, is affected by it. It is a serious illness. Uh, I have read uh, uh, and heard that the, the, the symptoms uh, causes you to have a lot of suffering, a lot of pain. Uh, and the doctors and the nurses who are sacrificing every day uh, to bring comforts, uh, to, uh, to bring um, uh, recovery to a patient is, is a lot of efforts these days. And all the more reason for us to be very uh, careful uh, to uh, do everything to uh, protect ourselves and one another. I told my staff members that, you know, in this days and age, you need to think of yourself as, as a, a microbiologist because the enemy is invisible, right? And then uh, you don't see uh, the virus. You don't know where it's going. You don't know where it's spread, spreading. You don't know who is being affected, right? And that is, that is the most difficult thing for us to deal with uh, this virus. We don't know. In uh, our spiritual life, we also experience the realities of God, the Holy Spirit, who can go anywhere and everywhere to uh, touch and heal, uh, to uh, console and give comforts and peace to uh, human souls, to human lives. And yet, there's also evil spirits that will uh, lurch about and around and do things that we don't know. And so it is good for us to make a personal choice, to make a communal choice today, uh, to come back to God, to convert our hearts toward God, to stay close to Him. Jesus experienced danger. In this uh, um, greeting we hear, right? And, and as we are approaching the um, Holy Week uh, and then Easter, and then especially uh, the Holy Week experience um, reminds us of all the dangers around Jesus when he was going into Jerusalem for the Holy Week experience. Uh, he continues to do God's work. He did not uh, draw back and, and, and uh, go into hiding, but he continues to press forward, remaining faithful to uh, the Father's will, that he will go into Jerusalem uh, to accomplish this uh, salvation uh, for all of us uh, on the cross. So Jesus remains silent when, when we are suffering, but he is suffering with us. He has compassion for us. And perhaps when we have to deal with the question of suffering, we wait until we see God to face to face and ask the question, God, where were you? Where were you when I'm suffering? Where were you when the whole world is suffering now? We, I, we may ask that question, but know that the Lord is the Lord of all mercy and compassion. He's there with us. He's there for us. And there are always, there's always hope for those who believe. Uh, uh, this uh, image of a priest, 72 years old, Father Joseph, uh, Baradelli uh, in North Italy. Uh, he uh, willingly gave up his uh, respiratory machine uh, uh, to a younger person and he willingly uh, died uh, in the process. Uh, that, that gives us a lot of hope because uh, the sacrifice of people for people or this uh, poignant picture of a father uh, as a doctor. Uh, he was coming from the hospital, uh, caring for the sick, 
and perhaps he thought that he got infected already. He came home, but he did not come into his house. He stood at the gate, looking inside, and the family inside took that picture of a, a wife, a pregnant wife, and the kids standing at the door, just waving at him with great love. And then the father, the doctor, went away into the hospital again, working hard days and nights again, and died in the process. Those sacrifices we see move our hearts uh, with, with compassion of people for people, of God for us too. God wants to be uh, uh, compassionate to each one of us. And so we celebrate God's love today and that he will cleanse all of our sins uh, and uh, help us to walk with him, especially with the special blessing of Pope Francis uh, in about uh, more than an hour. Uh, we invite you to join in the prayers for the whole world for the purification, for the forgiveness of sins, so that we can make it right with God. And whatever happens, we'll be faithful to walk with Him always. Let us now gather our hearts and prayers, our special intentions and concerns as we lift up our hearts and souls to God. For missionaries, may the Lord strengthen them in their zeal to spread the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of the church, especially for Pope Francis, uh, today he leads us in the blessing. And for all leaders in the church, and for lay leaders as well, May the Lord strengthen all of us to continue to spread the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For policymakers, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in passing laws protecting all life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those persecuted for, this, for righteousness' sake, may God bless them with courage and perseverance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our family of faith, may the Lord bless us in our Lenten efforts of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have been affected by this pandemic, may God continue to come and heal us and bring us peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially for Fred Shrigola and for the repose of their souls, May they rest in paradise with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us conclude with our prayer in time of pandemic. O oh Mary, you will always brighten our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, while remaining steadfast in faith. O loving Mother, you know what we need, and we are confident you will provide for us as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son, Jesus, the Divine Physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others, and for those who are attending to the sick and seeking a cure. Help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows, so as to lead us through the cross, to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for since your goodness we have received this bread, we offer you food to be us and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
bless and I, you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine. We offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hand. We become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. friends and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice Almighty God cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing of and purifying of their hearts, that free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and the saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Santo Host, Santo Host, Santo Sominus Deus Sabahos, Plenisu Sheli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus, qui benedictus, salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hand, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, 
and in his this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people, and may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, Timothy and Tan, his brother bishops, and all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together. With the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Christ our Lord and Savior. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
us pray. Grant to we pray, O oh Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, as I, we mentioned earlier, that uh, you are all uh, invited and encouraged to join with our Pope, Pope Francis uh, for this uh, uh, special time of uh, uh, blessings. Uh, it's uh, called uh, uh, Urbi a Corbi, uh, which means uh, from Rome to the whole world. Uh, the blessing from our Pope that uh, is normally uh, given only during uh, Christmas and Easter time and Jubilee years and when there is a new Pope. Uh, that is a very special blessing. I want you to join at 10 o'clock uh, California time. So uh, in this blessing... Uh, I'm not an expert. I make it sound like I'm an expert on this whole event. It's an extremely beautiful opportunity and I... I do uh, really appreciate Pope Francis reaching out to us in this manner. And uh, a plenary indulgence is a little bit of what Father Paul mentioned in his homily about the purification you know, of our lives. And so there are certain sufferings, guilt, and things from uh, sin that we're stained with. And so a plenary indulgence is a blessing that helps us to be free you know, of, of these things that purify our hearts and our minds. Now, it's not a complete you know, forgiveness of sins, but you know, a lot of times when plenary indulgences are given, you have to do certain you know, tasks of going to uh, you know, Mass or going to confession, but I know that in this case, uh, it's a little bit of a different story. But uh, in that uh, article on vaticannews.da, uh, it does state and mention that if you attend this uh, uh, live via Facebook, YouTube, and uh, their channels, you know, there you'll be able to receive this plenary indulgence. And for those who are sick and at home as well, if you make a spiritual opportunity in that moment, you also receive that. At least that's what, from what I read about this uh, Urbi and Orbi, you know, blessing today. And so uh, those are a little bit of the notes. Hopefully that clarifies it a little bit on one term, the plenary indulgence, but also at the same time, uh, what the event is today. And so once again, just uh, tune in if you can at 10 a.m. Uh, again, it's live stream. And I think what's in it is uh, there's going to be an adoration, some scripture, um, some reflections, you know, there, and then the blessing itself. So it's not just like you log in for blessing, but there's a whole event, you know, there with the Holy Father. So I invite you to tune in. Um, you know, uh, you know, we'll we'll be I'll be trying to tune in as much as I can, um, and in that aspect of it, or try to plug in uh, as we are here, and really invite you to do so. And talking about that real quick, uh, we will have our. Sunday Mass also, um, that will be posted up on our Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, it will be live like this, but then it will be just like last week. Uh, we'll try to get it out by tomorrow at 5 p.m. It depends on all the, the capabilities, capabilities, but uh, if not, for sure, on Sunday morning, you know, there. And it will be archived there, so you can uh, feel free to, um, you know, plug in throughout the, the whole day. So it's not like you have to come in at this time, but it will be archived there throughout the day for you to go to Mass if you're busy with the family or at home uh, there. So uh, you'll be having that opportunity. And to go to that link, you can go onto our website as well. That's Seize Irvine Council. Thank you, Father Brendan. Uh, yes, seizeirvine.org uh, and uh, vaticannews.da uh, uh, or vatican.va also, right? Yeah. There'll be a live stream uh, of uh, the uh, uh, blessing today and then uh, the masses we will uh, broadcast on uh, our website. Uh, may the Lord uh, bless you, may the Lord protect you, may the Lord uh, give you peace uh, and comfort in your heart. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us spend this day in God's peace. Thanks, Thanks be peace. to God. Let us pray the St. Michael's uh, prayer. St. Michael, the Archangel, the defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.